Hello friends, I'm here to give you my tips and thoughts on completing puzzles. As you can see, I have one right here. It's in my craft room where I can watch TV as I'm leisurely working on the puzzle. First of all, what I find to be very helpful is to separate your pieces, take your time as you're doing that, and separate by color or by pattern. Some puzzles have words and by shape, and this will help you in the long run and not have you ruffling through the, the box to find a certain piece that you might be missing. Take your time and uh, it will pay off in the long run. This puzzle is, in, is a thousand pieces. It's the one I'm working on now with these birds. And I've also done puzzles that are shaped like animals or houses. Makes It's a little bit more difficult as the edges are not necessarily flat. So that's a, a challenging. And I have a puzzle. These are two of our branch our grandson that were given to me as gifts. They're only about 250 pieces, but Shutterfly will do those for you of a single shot. And that's a nice thing to do. You can put Mod Podge, Mod Podge glue on it and that'll be a permanent reminder. And it's something that you can hang on the wall or put on a shelf. The next one that I'm going to do when I'm done with this one is a 2000 piece puzzle. This will be the biggest I've ever done. And it actually doesn't even fit on the card table. I'm going to have to move to our dining room table to do that. But this was another one that has, this is our grandson, and uh, one that I definitely will put the glue on and uh, keep it at forever and ever. Uh, I find that puzzles are very challenging. It's a good thing for your brain. If you can't sleep at night, you can come into the room and continue. Give yourself uh, maybe 10 pieces that you say you're going to get together and then go back to sleep. But it is good for your logical and your, uh, it's good for your creative side too. So I hope that you enjoy whatever you're working on and keep those things in mind. Oh, I did forget to mention that, that you can put them when you're separating them into plastic containers or I use coffee filters and put them in a, in a uh, basket and then you can work on them uh, a little bit at a time. So enjoy. Thank you for listening.